Catch her if you can. Catch her if you can. She's on the run. Oh, she's done it. <laughs>Charlotte, North Carolina. I realized one day on the school bus in the third grade that I wanted to be an actor. So I came home and told my mom that I wanted to be a star. And I hounded her and hounded her and hounded her for weeks. I go, what do you have to do to, to get that? And she's like, well, you gotta get an agent. So in the third grade, I signed with my first agency and I did my first musical at the age of seven. I was in Oklahoma. Um, I was one of the town's girls, and I had a solo in Many a New Day. I got smacked right dab in the face during Jet Set. I got my personality knocked out of me for a second. I had to go off stage and take a breather, get back in the kick line, put some ice on my face, and keep going. But it definitely hurt. But that's what rehearsal is. I mean, I've got my ass kicked more on the soccer field, so just gotta get back up on the horse, but I got a big old lip now. Wanna make out? <laughs> I've always had a really wonderful relationship with my family, with my mom and dad. They were very, very supportive. I grew up playing soccer and doing musical theater. My dad was my soccer coach since I was like six. So we always were just really good buddies and he would take me from shin guards to ballet tights. When I was 15, I came home from school one day and my mom told me that doctors had found a tumor in his stomach and uh, that it was cancer and it was... Uh, not good. 10 months went by really quickly and my father passed away uh, December 4th of uh, 1999. The last show he saw me in was Into the Woods. I was Little Red Riding Hood. And the last song he ever heard me sing was No One Is Alone, which was, I don't know, take it for what it is, but I thought it was really kind of magical and really, really special. <laughs> What are you doing tomorrow on your one day off? Getting a haircut. Why do they keep saying weekend? Don't call don't, don't call it a weekend. Call it's it 24 less than 24 less hours. Less than 24 hours. I'm gonna go to the post op oh just wait. We have Sundays off. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go to the, the bank. bank. Oh I gotta go pick up some stamps. Uh, Yesterday Hugh Jackman walked into rehearsal. Today, Robin Williams. What is my life? And with the process of Catch Me If You Can, I first was told that I wasn't getting an appointment for the show. And I remember being out at the dog park one day in New York and just kind of having like a breakdown. And I'm 27, which is still considered young, but I've been doing this for 20 years. And I've known that I've wanted to do this my whole life. And so I just was kind of having a conversation and I said, Dad, I don't know what you can do, but if you can tell me that I'm still doing the right thing and that I'm in New York for the right reason and that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, I would really love to just have a sign that I'm, I'm doing the right thing because right now I feel really lost and a little frustrated. Cut to two weeks later, I magically get an appointment for Catch Me If You Can. I don't know what happened, I don't know what changed. And I started going through rounds of callbacks for Catch Me If You Can and I was also up for Sister Act. So I had these two huge final callbacks on Wednesday, December 2nd. It's the craziest day of my life. I go to the Sister Act audition. I had a really great callback and I walked out of the room and I thought, oh my God. I think I did pretty well. But I can't think about it because I gotta go get ready for Catch Me If You Can. So at three o'clock I get a phone call that day that I had booked Sister Act and I had my huge Broadway moment and I was crying and I called my mom and it was just awesome and it was just like such a, an incredible accomplishment. But in the back of my head I said, well what about Catch Me? And so I asked casting, do you still want me to come in? And they said, absolutely. If anything, maybe you'll have to make a choice. Which, for the past five years, I've been trying to get into one room to get a Broadway show. The fact that I was up for two on the same day was stupid. So I go in at four o'clock to catch me if you can, and I walked out of that room and I thought, hmm, that went pretty well too. I don't know what's happening. 
So that night I get a phone call and they asked me if I had to choose, what would it be? Which, I mean, I would never think I'd ever get a phone call like that. But I said, I I'm thankful for anything, but I really think I, I really want to do Catch Me If You Can. So Thursday night I get a phone call. Jerry wants to see you dance one more time. I'm like, okay, it's going to be me and the few other girls that are up for this track. I got one more in me. I can totally do this. So Friday morning, 9.30, I'm all dolled up, go up to where they're having pre-production. And I'm like, oh, where's everybody else that's auditioning? No, it was just me and Jerry Mitchell, and I tried not to lose it. I did my dance combination, and then he put me in a kick line, and then he told me on the spot that I had booked to catch me if you can. And it happened to be the same day that my father passed away 11 years ago. So um, it was really cool. And um, it just made me realize that there are angels around you, and there are people that, um, you and love you no matter if they're here or not.